Have you guys ever been overloaded by cuteness? Because today might be the day. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where we have been busy, busy, busy building our new production system called Breakpoint Processing. Where we pretty much break the overflow method by stuffing production machines with so much material that they break. And so far it's been going pretty well. We've made about 48,000 encased industrial beams. And now we pretty much don't need to worry about them forever. Yeah, pretty much forever. But there is still so much to do. We have to re-automate rotors, stators, motors, and pretty much everything we've basically automated at the starter base. Except now in the extreme version. And also, the process is going to be pretty much the same thing as the encased beams. Like, we'll get a ton of items in the storage room, throw them into this super line, and make a huge stockpile. So it's pretty repetitive and grindy. At least until we get to heavy modular frames. Then things get a little bit more spicy again. But although this project might not be very spicy, I have been working on projects that are. Because during our Twitch live streams on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9am PST, I have been busy, busy, busy working on decorations and a whole lot more. Because for the most part, we're going to keep decorating to the live streams only. Because it's just a lot of copying and pasting. And then in the videos here, I'll show you some results. Like this Colosseum type structure we built over here. Made with a bunch of the more Factory LED strips. So at night, it looks pretty dang spicy. And aside from just looking good, this is going to act as the elevator for our warehouse area. So we have the big warehouse down here where we organize things. And instead of bringing things up this way particularly, we can bring things into this space where we have little gaps in between the floors. And then with this, we can bring things up into the warehouse. Oh, and speaking of the warehouse, you guys gave me some excellent suggestions for what to call this thing. And since all of the items in the whole world are going to pass through all of this nonsense, you guys suggested that we should name it the Cortex, which is like the area of the human brain which keeps our memories. And I thought that was pretty clever. And sounds about as cool as this thing looks. And it's only gonna look better, brother. But I digress. We also started decorating a lot of the uncovered builds down here. Just by adding in some really quick walls. Like we have walls around the foundries now. Around this, like, lift tower. This, everything, pretty much. Just to reduce a little bit of lag and start to get an idea of how things are gonna look in the future. And honestly, even after doing all of this building, I still don't really know what to do. But the default yellow and the dark rays are not really matching up. I think it's about that time we spiced it up. So let's get the color gun. And let's see how it looks. Pretty good. Oh, you better believe it. You better believe it. Except for that problem. Hmm. Can we not color the modded walls? Oh. Oh. Okay. Yes. We in fact can. Or does it only load in at a certain range? No? No, it just took a while to update. Perfect! Okay, and now that's looking much, much, much better. It's gonna be far easier to design with this color going on now. Can really start to imagine things better. Oh, and now things really feel like home, having the space elevator be the right color now. Ooh, and the starter base with the blue contrasting windows. Mm-mm. 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 Love it. Absolutely love it. And Mio, Tuo, are you a fan of the new color change? Like the change of scenery? Well, you got some berries for me, so I am going to presume that's a yes. Oh, yeah. That, that's a cute nod. That's an absolute yes. Cool. And I think I know another change you guys are going to like. The updated More Factory mod. Which adds in my face to literally every door in the game. So now we open the door. My little face is always there. Always watching. And that's for everybody that uses the More Factory mod now. Because the mod developer actually put my little icon into the game. Which was very cool. Much appreciated, my friend. 
Oh yes, and one last major thing, but expect to see more World Eater type buildings just popping up all over the place. So in the last episode, we built a couple concrete ones, just like over here, over there, over everywhere, to make the encased industrial beams. And that's gonna continue. These things will be built all over the world. So if I don't mention one, just, yeah, they'll just appear. I'll build them in streams, I'll build them off camera, it's just so we can get all the resources we need in order to get stuff back to base. Uh, this one in particular is the latest one. It connects up four pure limestone nodes into one central location, and this thing will produce 1,024 concrete per minute once it's actually completed. And completed being we have like the Mark III miners and Mark V belts. And also this structure will almost certainly get a lot bigger because there are a bunch of pure iron nodes around as well, and we'll probably smelt them in the same facility. Because having a lot of these World Eater buildings is really cool, right? But it's very inefficient building like 50,000 of them for every single node in the game. Sometimes we're gonna have to put them all in one place. But now with that, show and tell is over guys. It's time to actually work on a project today. And since we are working on so many kind of background projects at the moment, this is a good time to stockpile on things. Specifically, power shards. And oh my goodness, do we need a ton of them. We only have 69 left, and all of these and more just need to go to the foundry area. Like, that is notwithstanding like future projects. So we need hundreds, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them. And the only way to get them consistently is through doggos. So we are gonna grab ye old shooty shoot. We have a bunch of explosives, parachutes, and all the jazz. And we're gonna go on a great adventure around the world, finding the doggos. Guess we need some berries too, right? You better believe it. And honestly, this is gonna be quite the chore. The lizard doggos can't jump in the vehicles for whatever reason. So we have to kind of lead them back on foot. So we'll find a couple, tame them, and lead them back home. Of course, most of the doggos like to hang out in a pretty bad crowd. And that's why we have all Mr. Shooty Shoot, you know? Just have to be careful not to accidentally uh, shooty shoot the friendos. Also, it's gonna be a little difficult finding them. It's not like there's a resource online where it's like, here are all the locations for lizard doggos. Uh, or at least not one that, that I know of. So really, we just have to drive around the whole world looking for little pink objects strutting around. So not the gray objects, little pink objects. And I just think that m some of them spawn in the starter areas. So we're gonna kind of stay to them. And also while we're out, we are definitely going to be blowing up some rocks and gathering some sluggy boys. Whoop! Wait, what? Sluggy boys, hello? There we go. Whoa, my game, did it crash? No, we're good. What the heck is this? Was this like a troll? Is there something underneath this? Wow, it was a troll. Very cool game, very cool. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. There one is, man, oh man, I've been going for a while here. That took a bit. Well, I know they don't like muffins, unfortunately, but we have other things for the doggos. Come, my friend. Okay, and we can't be running as well. It scares them off. All right, buddy. Buddy? What the heck is that? Is that a snail? Hold up. Hold up. Oh, you're adorable. Who are you? Whoa, and they go on the ground too? Do you like berries? Can we be friends? Probably not. Oh, he's all scared. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, no, there we go. Oh, ho, 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 ho. If I could bring one of you home, I would. But doggos bring the power slugs, so we're grabbing them. So, come to me, my friend. Look at the berry. Come to the berry. There we go. And now, we're best friends. Yeah. Let's go on an adventure and take over the world, okay, bud? All right. Oh, and man, I'm gonna need like 50 million doggo names, by the way, so just spam them in the comments. <laughs> We're gonna have a ton by the time we get back. Or at least that's the hope, but 
They are, yeah, really, really hard to find. I know this is probably a long shot, but can we scan for them? Berries. Yeah, okay, no, duh. Of course not. Well, we can scan for slugs. That's like a living thing. Hmm. Can we research you, doggo? Probably not. Okay, back to walking around then. Ooh, whoa, whoa, wait a second, wait a second. I remember there's actually a secret cave that has like tons of lizard doggos in it. Uh, let's go there. Oh, but on the way, found another buddy. Hey, hey, don't go into the bushes, don't hide away. I come with an offering, an offering you can't refuse. All right, so I'm pretty sure he sees the berry. I just don't see him, because he's a sneaky doggo. But if I just put that down, you'll be coming out of the woods? Maybe? No? What do you think? Should we chase after him? I guess so. Let's see what's going on here. Hello? Oh, there you are. There you are. Oh, yes. You do see me, you crafty devil, you. All right. Let's play our game. Good. And your team? You better believe it. Two new buddies to the cube's crew. Ooh, and even better, berries for days for taming all the doggos. Excellent. This will help out a ton. Okay, and guys, I think we've made it, though. To the secret doggo cave. So, way over on the other side of the world here, there's this little inlet area, and in it lurk all the doggos in the world. And by in the world, I mean, like, probably, like, five to ten? A lot of doggos. Unfortunately, they're big stinky and they attract all these flies, but we can deal with them nice and quick. But aside from the flies, this is gonna be a dangerous adventure, so so we don't lose the doggos, like off some cliff or something horrible. Uh, let's just build them a new quick home. There we go. You guys can stay in the hotel for now. All right. I will be right back for now. Uh, you can play with the very cute ball and enjoy yourselves. See you in a bit. Okay, though, but here we are. Secret doggo super layer. Full of doggos all over the place and looking super cool. Yeah, deep within this cave lurk all of the doggos and their tasty, tasty treats. See, already there's one right there. Well, this is like the cutest little thing, but check this out. There's like all of this like stuff in computer tech that they've been gathering because they've been hoarding all of like the crash drop pod stuff because they're interested in technology. They're little industrialists. Isn't that the cutest thing? You better believe it. Okay, buddy. Let's become best friends. Where are you going? Stop hiding behind the rock. Look at the berry. Look at the berry. Stop it. Doggo, you ain't fooling anybody. Oh, ahaha, ahaha, you have been spotted. Now behold the berry, behold. Good, and that is doggo number three. Excellent. Okay, and we're gonna just run him out of here. This place again, very dangerous, many cliffs, lots of big spooky stuff. There you go. Oh, they're so cute. Cool. And do you guys find anything yet? Some mushrooms? Gross. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, fine. Enjoy your time with the ball. Aha! But there it is. The super secret doggo super layer. Covered in millions and millions of doggos. So far I can only really see two, but they're there. They're there. They're just being spooky. They're just trying to hide. No, 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 <gasps> no, doggo, he fell, wait, what, he's floating, what the heck happened, I didn't know they could fall off cliffs, especially on their own, uh, he's doing just fine, we'll have to save him later, he, I guess they do like to swim, I don't know, he's a weird one, where are the other friends though? It's Kibitz. 
Here to take you back to... <laughs> take you to the ranch. Oh, and look at this. They gathered even more metal and stuff. Computers. Ooh, well, 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 well. Don't mind if I do. And then where are you guys? Aha! There you are, my friend. Check this out. One whole berry, just for you. Ooh, there's two friends. Oh boy. I'm excited. Did he eat it? Oh, he can't get to it because it's covered in rubble. No, don't worry, don't back up, don't be afraid. Oh, he got it. Nice. Then welcome to the crew. And welcome as well. I would save your friend Jimmy, but he went off for a swim. We'll get him later. Now let's get you guys out of here. I think there's a easy way out just over this way, right? Hopefully, maybe, don't know. Are you guys gonna be bold and jump off the cliff like your insane brother? Probably not. So we just build the comfy cozy staircase and here they come. Excellent. All right, let's rock and roll guys. Let's see if we can get out of here safely. Wait, where did the other guy go? Hello? There was two of you. Where did he go? Oh, what? Where did he come? What? Where did he come from? Where did he go? Where did you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Your name's Cotton Eye Joe now. As it has been decreed. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love them. But I gotta go to the pen for now. There's still one more friendo to save. Huh. And swimming around here, I do not know where on earth the dog went. I swam around like this whole cliffside. And he, he's just gone. Very spooky. Very, very spooky. However, I did happen to notice this little cave back here, which I didn't see before. It is really, really well blended in here. So let's take a quick old gander. Maybe there's a secret or more doggo treasure. Well, yeah, maybe, but there's no way actually up here. Not yet, anyway. Aha! Uh -huh. But with a little bit of parkour climbing magic, We've made it to the promised land. Is there actually anything here or is this just an unfinished little zone? Oh, there actually is something here. I'm wildly surprised actually. Just a sluggo. Okay, we take those though. I feel this should have been a purple sluggo though. Just saying. It's not easy to even see this place. Oh, well, maybe there's an easier entrance back here. Nope. It's the only way in, brother. Huh. Well, cool regardless. Uh, anyway though, I went through the rest of the cave, I looked for more doggos, and I guess the one that went to the water despawned, or left. <laughs> so, we're just gonna bring the doggos we found back to base now. And honestly, from here on out, it's gonna be pretty random finding them. This is kinda like one of the only spots I actually knew where to find them. So it's probably just gonna take a bit. Oh, but I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Oh my goodness, guys. Are you ready for a cuteness overload? I'm gonna tell you right now, you're not. Because this is the most adorable thing ever. Doggos! Unite! Look at them all. We have like 14 or something insane here now. Oh my goodness. We're gonna get so many power shards. Oh, and they're like a horde of sheep. Except they have floppy ears and they're even more cute. They're so dang cute. Oh, but they need a good home now. So, unfortunately, for the time being, I've kept them in this little box, which has flowers, you know? It's like, it's not terrible, but they need a proper place. And that's what we gotta build next. And we're gonna be building it right above our storage room, so they're always close by. And so we can collect the power shards often, but that's beside the point. We want them close by. So, main elevator's right here. We'll build off this way, and right off the bat, we'll just have a normal platform. Then that will probably go to a door, so we can get in and out easily. There we go, good little start. And they have my derpy little face to look at all the time, which is nice too. Cutler, are you gonna update or? Maybe over time, not sure. But aside from the doorway, we're just gonna have some windows off to these sides so we can look in the the home. And then we're gonna do something really cool with the floors. And we're gonna use the new dirt foundations with the uh, more factory mod. So the, you know, it's a little nicer on the doggo's feet. Cause running around on cement all day probably wouldn't be comfortable. 
And then of course the walls have to be the skyscraper windows, so the doggos can look out at the beautiful world, see our machines, and be entertained. It'll be almost like they're outside still. Except for the fact they're like a thousand feet in the air. And then after filling things in a bit, that lands them in the dark place. Yeah. The shadows don't really work with these foundations, so we're gonna just switch those out. But the walls are good now. Back walls are all like that. Added in this cool fan. The Whirlator 3000. Keep the air fresh in here, of course. And that's kind of that. What do we change the floor to, though? Normal foundations? Maybe. Ooh, but actually these foundations look really, really cool. I want to actually scratch that. I found an even better foundation. It's just the regular one, except with no border. And this looks freaking sick, and has little grips on the ground too, and I think that'd be better for the doggo's feet. You know, hypothetically anyway. Good! Big room, very empty, very boring. Let's fill it with fun. And obviously it doesn't have to be anything crazy. We could just have a couple little belts going through here, and they can carry like motors and the stuff that the doggos find interesting. Like the stuff we found in the cave earlier. There we go, just kind of an assortment of random items. Yeah, they should find that pretty neat. And just so they don't have to hop over the belts all the time, we can add a little bridge. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. We can just use the walkway ramps. And yeah, just a couple little things like that all over the place. Like little houses to go play in, a constructor to look at, you jelly, because why not? And yeah, this will be a fantastic home for all the doggos. Now just to get them all up here. That's gonna be another story, because they are way down over by the coal power plant, and this is pretty dang high up, brother. So I'll just try and make the safest ramp I possibly can, and I should be able to bring them up all right. Okay, well it's not exactly a stairway to heaven, but it's a stairway. It'll do. So bumpers on all the sides goes right to the doggo pen. Now we just bring the doggos and just Pray nothing bad happens. So doggos, if there is a time to not be dumb, this is the time. Please, please, this this is the time. I know the cave looks cool. Can we not mess around with the cave right now though? We just have one little walk to go on. Just one little walk. There we go. Very good, doggo. Very good. Just walk ourselves. As long as we're walking, the doggos are chilling. Oh my god, they're so cute. They're so absolutely cute. All their floppy ears. Come on. We're closing in. You guys are gonna love your new place. Just stay in a nice pack. Don't worry. I know you guys aren't afraid of heights. You're afraid of nothing. You're brave little doggos. Just keep following the muffin. Alright, made it to the right height. Good, good, good. One last ramp to go down. And welcome home, guys. You made it. Congratulations, I am very proud of you. Now just add in those last two windows and we are done. Please. Why is he, why, why did he run? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, please, stop. Please, just come down. I know you don't see it right now, but we're like a million feet up. We're on the last step. Okay, he's in, he's in, he's in, he's in. Please, 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 please. Window to the wall. And we've done it. The doggos have made it home. Yep, now you can run off, have fun, have all the fun in the world, play in the U jelly, do whatever you like. This is now your home. The only thing I ask of you is you bring me slugs and look at that. Already they have. Ah, <sighs> We're gonna have a great time together, doggos. Just an absolutely fantastic time. Anyway though, I think that's gonna be all here for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, remember to leave a like. Helps me out a ton. And I hope to see you in the next video. So have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye <laughs> <laughs>